Now, on the subject of farmer self-promotion, there are few scenes in the heartland more poignant than a youngster peddling his or her produce under a handwritten sign. Now, when that youngster sticks with that stand and grows it into a thriving market and tourist attraction, well, that's a bit more unusual, as is the boy turned man who pulled it off. Jason Schultz has the story. The sign looms large on the Dade County horizon, the here being just off Highway US-1 on Palm Drive in Florida City, Florida. And folks who stop by this unusual produce stand quickly find out who Robert is and why he's here. We like to grow our own broccoli. It's, you know, yours is not really ripe. Robert Moling is the Robert in Robert is Here. Grower, marketer, salesman, store clerk, Robert's been doing it right here since he was six years old. Yes, six. That's when his dad set up a stand for passing motorists to buy the cucumbers the Molings grew on their small farm. Trouble was, no one stopped. His dad thought, well, maybe they didn't see him. So, the next day he pulled some hurricane shutters out of the barn that are normally used for the house and wrote on there with spray paint, Robert is here, and put one on each side of me to let people know that I was there. The signs worked, and more than 40 years later, Robert is still here. Today, the stand sells produce and more, tapping into a growing trend across the country. Consumers looking for fruits and vegetables fresh from the field. You can buy fruit anywhere you want to. You know, it's all over the place. There's no reason to come to Robert is here. But we try to make it special. We try to have, if we have mangoes, we try to have the largest or the best mangoes that's available. Uh, papaya, the same way. The tomatoes, the largest and the best available. Right now, I've got sapodillas, which are brown fruit, look like a potato kind of a thing. Carambola, which is a star fruit. Avocados, of course. This one here is called a fuyu, also known as a square persimmon. It's got almost a square shape on the beans and the squash and the stuff like that. My family used to grow when I was a kid. But you just can't, to, to run a, a roadside market and to farm, you just can't do it all like we used to. He can't do it all, but that doesn't stop him from trying. Besides the fruits and vegetables, the jams and jellies, the exotic fruit milkshakes, the homegrown sunflowers, Robert Oops. keeps visitors entertained with a petting zoo. <laughs> Emus, geese, donkeys, iguanas, they all get along. The donkeys run the pen, they kind of guard the pen too. Robert's farming operation is a year-round commitment. The sand closes in September and October, but stop by any other time and Robert is here. And we have been here every Christmas since 1959. Robert has a loyal following of local customers, but the stand has also become a must-stop for tourists visiting the nearby Everglades National Park. We decided to come down here for the winter where it's warm, so now we're heading to the Keys, and the Everglades was great. I usually like to get him to stop so we can shop, but he doesn't like to do that, so he pulled in to surprise me. He said, ah, you'll like to stop here. You know, I'm Jamaican, you know, by birth, and actually I just like when I see the fruits, it reminded me of being back in the islands. A visit to Robert is Here isn't just an opportunity to buy fresh produce. It's a trip around the tropics with Robert as the tour guide. Whether it's sharing his passion for passion fruit. And what you do, I'm going to give one to you, you just slurp everything out of it. Or cutting plain old broccoli from the field, he'll be here.